All right, I'm going to walk you through a quick reset on this. This is how the file comes in from Photomatix. Assume you can get that far. Um, it was a pretty dark day because of that bright sun overpowering, so I would start off moving exposure up a little just to kind of see what I'm working with. Um, I like to go down right away, right out of the back, get clarity out of the way. You want to sharpen that up, add some vibrance. You can start to see the sort of colors start to pop. And just a little bit of saturation. You don't need to go too crazy. You can already see it starting to work. Uh, at that point we need some contrast or some blacks. Uh, you can kind of decide. Um, I usually add just a little bit of blacks. You don't even need to go too much. You know, a little contrast kind of does the same thing. Um, you can play with this, see if you need any fill light or not. We'll be messing with that later so it's not that big a deal. Okay, starting to look like an HDR. Um, my new favorite trick. I'm going to add a gradient to this and lighten this sandy area up. You can see it's an exposure gradient. I can, you know, clearly make that dark or too bright. Looks, you know, bring the sand up some. Looks like a pretty good way to go. And we'll do another one up here for the sky. And you have that same flexibility. You can kind of really make it a dark day, super bright day, or somewhere in between. You might just want to bounce that around a little. Next thing is I'm going to kill these people. Boom. Gotta get them out of the equation. And one last hanger on there. There we go. Pretty good. We'll close that up. And you know, you can fine tune anything you want in there. Um, the temperature slider is pretty adjustable. You can see it also has effect kind of on the overall exposure. You can go really blue day really hot day. This one looks good with it just warming up. Well that's kind of how it looked when I was out there. So we go to the tone curve. Sometimes this is useful. Let's say we want to bring the shadows up a little bit, just brighten it a little. Um, if there's any color you particularly like, you have the ability to, you know, add some of that to it. Um, the sharpening, this is just my experience from Lightroom on a shot like this. You can do these on your own how you like them. Um, from what I've seen, we want a lot of noise reduction. We want to get rid of some of that red fringing that may or may not be occurring on all the edges. And last but not least, we want to probably put a little vignette in there. Just a little bit. You can see you know, how tight that's going to be and how much you want in there. You'll see what we do is we'll roll that back to just the edges, and then we'll kind of roll this. Just I was just doing that so you could see. I kind of know I don't usually do much more than that. It's just a real subtle thing. And at that point, we are set. We are done for the most part. It's finished HDR from that. You can see them both.